Today's video will be about making a split letter. My name is Ann Hine and I'm an educator with Janome. Let's get started. Now I know we've seen those split letters out there. It's a big uh, last initial of, of a person with their name in the middle of it or maybe a couple's name in the middle of it too. And I have um, some split letters here to show you. Let me open them up. Now I did it's actually the same one, I just stitched it on different things. This is on a linen fabric. So I made my H very large. I was able to split it and put my our names in the middle there. I added something down here. You can be very creative with these and add a box around the names, um, add, add just add more to it. You can be very, very creative. This one here, I stitched on an artist canvas. So I bought one of those canvases and I took it off the wooden frame. I painted it with a little bit of uh, craft paint and then I let it dry. I hooped it for my machine. I actually put it on the stabilizer and then I taped it into place so it would hold on right in there. And then I went ahead and stitched this. Now when you stitch on the canvas, remember to clean out your bobbin area. It does get a little messy down there because the canvases are treated in order to accept the paint that goes onto them. So you want to make sure you clean out and then change your needle because it's a little bit of a thick, stiff uh, fabric to be stitching through. But it does stitch very nice. I'm going to frame this and we can hang it in our house. So let me close all this and I'll show you how I did that. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to come in here and get a larger hoop because I know I'm going to make a big letter. So I got my GR hoop. You can see that here. And if you're still in hoop mode and it's blue here, if you hit the selection, it'll turn off the hoop selection tool and you'll be able to get designing from there. So in lettering, I'm going to select text and then I'm going to come up here and I'm going to type just my last initial and you can see it appears down there and before I get too far along I want to show you the different fonts so when you do this you want a little bit of a chunky font and everybody's letters a little different so play around with different ones um, an H with the bar in the middle there's certain ones I think look nicer than others um, and you'll be the deciding factor on that these fonts here that have what looks like a little zigzag and then XPG, those are the fonts that are pre-digitized and that come with your artistic digitizer software. If you scroll up or down, depends on where they are in your computer, you'll come across the ones that say TT. These are true type fonts and they come preloaded with your laptop your, or your computer. And you may have the same ones I have, you may have different ones depends every computer has a different package so I also have some here that say DF these came from a website and I downloaded them um, true type fonts and I brought them into my true type font list every computer does that a little differently too some automatically load them in sometimes you have to go find the font and install it and if you have trouble with that you can do a little Google search on installing fonts and it'll give you a little helper on doing that. So the font I like is the XPG 110. So I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to change, I can change my font size if I want here, but I can also use my corner handles to make it larger, which I plan to do. Now, when you have your letter and you're still in the font tool, you'll get a little hand and a grabber hand and you can move this anywhere you want in your hoop. Okay. Once you're done with aligning it where you'd like, you can hit your selection box and that will end the, the lettering tool so you'll be able to work more with your letter. So I'm going to click on it to select it, but I do want it in the center of my hoop and I can go up here to MC15000, center to hoop, and there it goes right in the center. Now I can use my corner handles to make it larger. So I'm going to bring it up just a little bit this way. And I'd like this to be a little fatter, a little thicker. So I'm going to go to the side a little bit and to this side a little bit. Maybe I'll make it a little taller, but I do want to leave room to cut it in part and make sure I have space for my name. I'm going to put it back in the center again 
so I can work from the center. Now this is a satin fill. I can see over here in my properties it says satin. So I can do a couple things with that. I can give my satin a pattern like that if I wanted to. I could go to a step fill and use a step fill pattern if I wanted to. So play around with the different types of fills that you have, whether you go with a satin fill, these are little arrows, kind of hard to see them there, or you can go to a step fill and do the same thing. There's patterns there too with your step fills. So it just depends on what you want to do. You can scroll in and see that. So I'm just going to leave it right there for now as for this example. The next thing I want to do is split my letter in half. In order to do that, you would come here to your digitize tool, outline shape, and I can click on the left side, drag across, and click on my right side. I can either, oops, I can either, oops, double click, and now I have a curved line, and I don't want a curved line, so I'm going to hit the, the backspace to go back, and I'm just going to left click, and then I can right click and say end shape, or I can hit enter. And now I have a straight line across there. Once I do that, I want, and if that happens, hit escape. I want to go to my selection box to end the tool, and then I want to select both my line and my letter. And I can see I have both selected. Now I used the selection box and drew a box. I could also just come over here to my sequence and select my sequence box and that gives me everything right there. Now next thing I have to do is right click and select knife. Do you see knife there when I right click? Let me click off. I'm going to right click and select knife. Now that function cut my letter into two parts. I have the upper part and a lower part. Now I've selected my lower part and I'm going to use my arrow keys on my keyboard to bring this down so that I have a space in there. And I'm going to select the top part and bring that up. And now I have a nice big space in the center there for my next letter. I'm going to actually write some names to put in there. And I'm going to go back to my lettering to text. And when it comes up, it is in the font that I used before. So I'm going to come in here and find something that has maybe a bit of a curve to it. This one might look nice. And you'll have to test out which ones look best with the letters that you're using. And then I'm going to type our names. Now you can see this is really huge because I did not change my font size. So I can come in here, select this, put in 40 to make it a little bit smaller. I can take the hand. Now if I take the hand, it's going to take a letter at a time. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to hit undo and it puts it back. Let's hit the selection and then I can select my name. The selection ends the lettering tool. I can bring that right in here and align it wherever I'd like. Let me use my, my shift and roll my wheel to bring that back to center. I can click off of that and there I have our names in the middle. Very easy to do. Now if I want to I can make these larger, I can add more lettering, I can do things in these open spaces, I can make a box around this too. I can do all of that. Now to go back and review, you can split other things too. It doesn't have to be a letter. It might be a shape that you want to, to split. So what you would have to do is whatever shape you have, and I'll cut the top part of this letter, you want to go to your digitize tool, outline shape, left click on one side, drag across, you can left click again, right click and do end shape. Make sure you select those parts. I'm going to go to my selection tool. I'm going to come in and select both parts. Right click, select knife. And now I have, whoops, 
click off of there. Now I have a top part. I actually have four, three parts with this design just the way it's made. So I can do some very interesting things with it. So have fun with the knife tool. Remember, get your shape, go to digitize, draw your line, select all of it, right click, select knife, and there you have it. Have fun with that. Make some great designs. You can actually show them on the Facebook page for Janome and then do hashtag Janome or send them off to the web page.